Well, the ballots have been counted. The American people have spoken. And you can finally turn your TV on without seeing 17 campaign ads in a row. The midterm elections of 2010 have come and gone, and so have liberal dreams of a permanent majority. We know that many of you in the CFIF family are excited about what's to come. But even in this moment of celebration, we can't help but get a little nostalgic. After all, we've just left behind an important era in American history. So before a new Congress takes office, let's pause to remember the last two years of liberal leadership. Join us, won't you, as we remember the way we were. I don't believe it's too late to change course, but it will be if we don't take dramatic action as soon as possible. If nothing is done, this recession could linger for years. The unemployment rate could reach double digits. You know, so people kind of say, yeah, but unemployment's still at 9.6. Yes, but it's not 12 or 13 or 15. So people have been hurting, and I understand that. And it doesn't give them comfort or solace for me to tell them, uh, you know, but for me, we'd be in a worldwide depression. Well, why has it been delayed? Uh, Ma'am, at the uh, LACPR is it? I, you know, do me a favor. Could you say Senator instead of Ma'am? Yes, it's sir. just a thing. I worked so hard to get that title, so I'd appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Please. Will you write the tax code? Why don't you mind your goddamn business? No, I'm serious. Why are you such a disgrace? Here it is. The Republicans' health care plan for America. Don't get sick. If you get sick, America, the Republican health care plan is this. Die quickly. You know, I don't worry about the Constitution on this, to be honest. I <laughs> that's my, well, that's right. That's Jackpot, brother. Oh, ask me, the, what's the question again? Is, is, Where in the Constitution me? does it give you know. the authority to... I don't know. That's I have, what I thought. The, the federal government, uh, yes, can do most anything in this country. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. Beg your pardon? You don't trust me? And guess what this liberal would be all about? This liberal will be all about socializing. Uh, um, would be about basically taking over and the government running all of your companies. Let me tell you something. For the first time in my adult lifetime, I'm really proud of my country. People have been beaten down so long. And they feel so betrayed by government. It's not surprising then that they get better and they cling to guns or religion or uh, antipathy towards people who aren't like them. Or, and a way to explain their frustrations. You know who else is on vacation? Uh, President Barack Obama. And this is his, uh, since he's been in office, this is his sixth vacation. Yep, he'll have plenty of time for vacations when his one term is up. <laughs> he'll have plenty of time. What if Congress tackled the budget crisis 15 years ago? The joint resolution is not passed. Just one vote short in 1995 and again in 1997. Since then, America's debt has climbed to a staggering $13 trillion. Before America becomes another Greece. It's time that we, the people, force the politicians in Washington to balance the budget without raising our taxes. We can't afford to wait another 15 years. Visit OneMoreVote.org.